Good morning, everybody, and this is your Bitcoin review for today. So starting off with the, the weekly chart on Bitcoin, and uh, just to validate the decision to buy last week, uh, going at the close on Thursday, well, Friday morning, actually. Um, so you can see the last week we ended up with a green inside bar inside a wedge, and we've now had a pretty solid break over the weekend. Uh, very important for me at the moment is the oscillators. Look how they've uh, crossed over at the moment, but more importantly, look at the diversions here. So you can see there was a previous low, there's a current low, so price has made a higher low, and uh, oscillators have made a lower low. So that is continuation diversions and continuation in the direction it was going, which was up. So we do have a bit of a trend line that we should start coming up to see shortly. So if we move down to the daily, you should see that's still relatively far away. And it's going to start bringing in a few levels to the upside. So obviously 40,000 is going to be the first area, I would assume, that we need to tack in for, and then 44,000. So this top of this consolidation range at the moment, which is 41,000, is fairly close to it at the moment. That is the first target. Obviously, once we get above that and start building a base at 40, 41,000 or even 40,000, uh, that is good enough for me to start looking for opportunities to the upside. So if we look at the four hour, you can see clear channel break here, pretty solid channel break going at the close of the week. And uh, this is pretty much what, uh, what I said is when we've started this bar here, actually it was this bar here, I think it's worth buying into this, even if it's just the top and you can see it's broken through. So pullbacks are to be bought. That's pretty much the structure that I see at the moment. And I think if we just come down to the Ichimoku, just to close off, because that is going to give you pretty solid setups. Okay, so solid setups would be obviously a retest of the structure. And you can see from an Ichimoku perspective, flat cloud, flat cloud there. And uh, you'll see Kijinson and Tekinson fairly close here. You can see there is uh, Kijinson, Tekinson, the blue line, which is up here. So any pullback onto that would offer structure. But this is a solid bar this morning. Uh, yeah, oh, I think for me, it's a hold. I'm sitting along at the moment, definitely looking to add, looking for the pullback onto structure. And that should be hopefully somewhere in the region of 37,000, 37, 35,000, somewhere around there would be a fairly solid uh, opportunity to buy into this. The other thing to bear in mind is you've got a few other tails here, and I think let's just get back to a plain chart so I can share that with you. Sick. Okay, so um, all these tails here are now validated because price has gone past. So you can start looking for opportunities to find support on every single one of these tails. And uh, there is another one pretty much around here. You can see rejection, support, rejection, and that's kind of where we are at the moment. So that's 38.136. So pull back back onto 36. 600 3700 that's definitely an opportunity to buy it back into this and um, the last thing i want to point out to you is the measured move here is massive so taking it from there to there there's my fibonacci you can see the 61.8 has pretty much held so looking to the upside where are your extensions so your extension is a 161 to start with, and that is targeting 100,000 at the moment. So yeah, I think once we break through, you could probably work 70,000, 80,000, 90,000, 100,000. That's kind of the view that we've got at the moment. Anyway, that is my plan of action on Bitcoin is to buy the dips, and uh, we're looking pretty at the moment. So hope it helps, and we will catch you later. Cheers for now.